So some more uh, common formulas here for 1.4. We went over a bunch of them on the end of the last one. Let's uh, do some more here. Um, we have the area of a circle. That's pi r squared. You should know that one, uh, where r stands for the radius. And circumference is pi uh, times the diameter, or you can do 2 pi r, uh, and r stands for radius, and c stands for your circumference. Your mother was a hamster, and your father smelt of elderberries. So let's you solve this for w. No, now go away, or I shall taunt you a second time. When we're doing this, uh, when we're trying to solve for w, um, you want to make sure that you can get W all by itself. So in order to get W by itself, I'm going to need to move this 2L. And since it's a positive 2L, I'm going to subtract 2L on both sides. So I end up with P minus 2L equals 2W. Once again, to get W by itself, I have, to, I have 2 times W, so I divide both sides by 2. So I end up with um, those two cancel out, but I still have this one. Remember, you got to divide both items by 2. So I just have an L here, but P over 2. I can't forget to divide both of those items by 2 there as well. So you actually, when you rewrite that, you end up with 1 half P minus 1. Because there's a 1 on top here. We just don't write it beside the P. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody. You have 40 feet of fencing with each, uh, yeah, with which to enclose a rectangular garden. Express the garden's area in terms of its length only. Well, that's length times width. So I know this. I know that the perimeter, it says you have 40 feet of fence. So the perimeter is going to be 40. So I have a length plus a width plus a length plus a width. That's why I have that formula there. All that equals 40. Well, I have two L's and two W's, which is why I have two L plus two W. Okay. So they said they want to express this area in terms of length, which means I'm looking to get length by itself. So I'm going to, since it's plus 2w, I'm going to subtract 2w on both sides. So when I do that, I end up with 2l equals 40 minus 2w. And then to get l by itself, that's so 2 times l. I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And when I do that, um, I get 40 over 2, which is 20, because I can take those and divide them, and 2 over 2, which is 1, so I actually end up with 40 divided by 2, which is 20, 2 over 2, which is 1, so you actually end up with 20 minus W. Alright, there is your homework. Um, obviously it doesn't go from 29 to uh, 3, it's 29 to 30. So keep that in mind. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know, and I will uh, talk with you later.